This is an image from the Blackmagic Pixis. The DP is Patrick O'Sullivan. I'm just going to quickly show you a two node color correction kind of technique that's good for newbies or beginners or just to get a, a feel for what the image will look like. Right, let's get straight into it. If I'm starting from scratch, what I want to do is I want to see the contrast and saturation levels of the, the actual image. Let's create two, two nodes here. So this one we're going to call uh, contrast. And this one we're going to call, let's just call it sat, saturation. Okay, what I like to do personally is I like to go in uh, to the primary color wheels under which you will see saturation and reduce that down all the way so I get a black and white image. Now the reason I do this is because I want to see the difference between the light and the dark, the brightness and the shadows. There's always like a what you would call a yin and yang between the two. So you want to see where the light is sitting, where the dark is sitting. Okay, so that's very obviously washed out at the moment because of the brawl file. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll increase the contrast to about, um, I'll say 1.65 on that one. And I'll also adjust the pivot, so bring up the, uh, uh, the brightness a bit to so around 0.360. This is for this footage. You can do the same with other footage, but we're just going to be focusing on this one here. Okay, I like the way the contrast is sitting with this one. So that to me looks like a, a balanced contrast adjustment. And what I do, I'll just reset the saturation. So that's before and after, before and after. That's just with the contrast adjustment. Now, in terms of saturation, there's quite a few ways of doing it. There's the standard saturation, which is just going in and increasing it from here. There's something called a color density saturation, which I won't go into here. Um, but I personally like the RGB method of increasing the saturation uh, in, on the image. So that's what we'll do. We'll go to the, the RGB mixer here and we'll whack up the red the green and the blue channels. And then we'll go to the node key and reduce the key output until we get a saturation that we like. Let's just leave it around 222.222. .222. So that's without the saturation, that's with the saturation, without the contrast and saturation adjustment, with the contrast and saturation adjustment. Saturation looks a bit too much there. <laughs> so let's just dial it down a bit more. Uh, 0.135, let's see. Okay, that kind of works. That's pretty much it. You kind of establish your contrast first, then you go in, adjust your saturation levels. And then you can do the rest of the work in terms of if there's any tints or if there's any color adjustments that you need to make. Let me know if these are the kind of videos that you're into, these kind of like basic tutorials. Leave a comment below and I'll uh, see if I can do some more. Until next time.